Bandwidth and hosting for Japancast.net has been provided by Site5. Site5 offers web hosting starting at just $4.95 per month with 99.99% guaranteed uptime. Head over to Site5.com and sign up for your 30-day free trial today. Japancast.net is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download at audiblepodcast.com slash japancast. Over 75,000 titles to choose from, including hundreds of Japanese language books. Support us by supporting them. Visit audiblepodcast.com slash japancast today. Japancast.net Japancast のビデオエピソードへようこそ。ひとみです。ポルです。Japancast is your number one source for Japanese culture, customs, and language. This is episode 29. Now, whether you want to discuss the connection between katakana and ancient Hebrew or why bleach is vastly superior to Naruto, Japancast.net <laughs> is your place to go. <laughs> okay. We'll get some emails on that one. Oh. I <laughs>、um, had a couple things real quick before we get into the lesson I wanted to cover.、Um, I know that some of you guys, you're either students or maybe financially, you're having a tough time. And I know we have sponsors and we talk about how great、um, Audible in particular is, but、hmm. there is one thing I wanted to show you, and I'm going to show you on the iPad, but this is also available on、um, the iPhone. It also works with your computer and it's free.、Uh, it is called Overdrive. And you can see it's just right now blown up version of the iPhone app. And Overdrive is a way to check out audiobooks from your local library. And you can get whatever your particular local library has available. You can check them out. I, I checked out Learn in Your Car Japanese. And I doubt you're going to be able to hear it. Let's see if I can put it near my microphone. So. It's audiobooks for free. So I thought that might be really useful for you guys. Like I said, I know, you know this economy is really bad right now. So it's called Overdrive. It's available for iPod Touch, iPhone, iPad. They also have it for Mac and Windows. You also can download and burn the books to CD. So you can even do that and listen to them in your car. So, it's a great、uh, opportunity, but the selection is pretty limited. Our local library only had one audiobook for Japanese available.、Mm. But it's free.、Yeah. So, <laughs> I wanted to put that out for you guys.、Um, didn't want you to think that you have to get Audible or buy things.、Mm. You know, wanted、right. to find some, I like good deals, and that's free、yeah. is a good deal. Um, also, we get a lot of emails from people you know, with suggestions about how our crew could maybe shoot different angles of us, <laughs> or maybe use multiple cameras, or, or different things that we could do, like、uh, things we could do to improve our audio, have our audio guy do some different things. So,、mm. what I thought we could do is we'll invite the entire staff <laughs> to come around here so you guys can <laughs> say hello to the whole staff. So, guys. Come up to the cool taste. Taste extra coolness every time you smoke. These taste great. There you go. <laughs> Here's the entire Japan cast staff.、Mm. I'm running the camera so, from here.、So. There's one camera sitting there with nobody、mm. behind it. I focus it before we shoot. I know. The audio is in another room being recorded directly into my workstation. I have no idea what the volume levels are like, what the sound is going to be like. What the picture is going to be like. I, we have a remote image right here on the laptop.、Mm. There's, no, there's no staff, there's no crew, nothing. The Japancast app, every graphic, every kanji, everything, every voice was done by us. <laughs> everything on the website. So, so. The videos are all edited by us.、Mm. Everything.、Um, the, the sound, the music was done by Rich Goyette. T shirt,、uh, Sunway French Toast is being designed by Sean Malinowski. <laughs> um, other than that, we do everything. There, there is no crew. So, so, so. <laughs> so you're wondering. Yeah. But, <laughs> this is it. This is the whole crew. So, one thing I wanted to put out speaking of crew, we could use some help.、Mm-hmm. I would love to get our stuff up on YouTube, but YouTube has a 15 minute maximum, and most of our episodes run 30 to 40 minutes. So, if you know how to edit video, 
I would love for somebody to take our episodes out of iTunes and cut them down, either cut them into two parts or cut them down. Just, it's fine if they're kind of jumpy and choppy, that's fine. And then I'll, you know, you can upload them to me, I'll set up an FTP site and then I can put them up on YouTube. I'd prefer somebody who has editing experience um, just because it's going to be a lot easier. I'm real nitpicky about that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, listen to me, lady. Listen to me, bud. If you want to be my happy, then you want to smoke spud. Spud cigarettes are cooler than cool. Smoke spud cigarettes. That's the mild happy rule. <laughs> but definitely we'd, we'd make you a, a subscriber so you could get show notes and all that stuff for helping us out of it. So, and if you're, you know, just starting out and you want some stuff to put on your resume so that you can say you <laughs> so uh, you know. um all right and that was it do you have anything you wanted to mm -mm. chat about our yeah. staff member here <laughs> my assistant slash co-host slash co-producer slash co-director <laughs> all right uh before we move on to this week's uh phrase or idiom wanted to thank you guys um put your names on the screen here Right. Uh, as we mentioned, we're, we're over 300,000 listeners, viewers right now. And out of all of those people, these are the ones who have chosen to donate their hard-earned cash to us to keep us going. Um, we got like a, just a small percentage of all the people who watch to donate. We could probably get, you know, do a three-camera setup or have somebody come in and monitor audio or... The cameras and be able to do a little bit more that's that's the goal eventually but <laughs> it would it would be a lot easier for me i know you have to, to, to have it. some right. help um but for now it, it, it's still a lot of fun so thank you to to our donators let's go on to this week's phrase or idiom I know it's hot. We're pressed for time today, so what do we have? <laughs> uh, phrase. Okay. Useful phrase? Hi. So this week's useful phrase is Zettai umaku iku yo. Zettai umaku iku yo. Okay. Which means? This is a sure thing. Mm. So Zettai, Zettai means definitely, mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, umaku iku means goes well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, uh, something like this, you can use this phrase. Okay. I'm gonna read A, and you're gonna read B. Okay. Oh, I am. Yeah. Okay. 今日の午後仕事の面接なんだ。すっごい緊張する。大丈夫。絶対うまくいくよ。uh, this afternoon, shigoto no mensetsu nanda, which means I have a job interview. Uh, and then I say, sugoi kincho suru. I'm so nervous. And what he said was, daijobu, which means don't worry. And zettai umaku iku yo. It's a sure thing. You'll be fine. Cool. Very useful phrase. Hi. All right. Um, we're just going to go on and do um, mail next. But before we do, thank one more sponsor, Audible. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash japancast. Get a free audiobook. We always recommend Pimsleur. Mm. We had somebody who was a, a fan of the show went and bought it in iTunes. You can get the first set of Pimsleur for free by using our link and not have to pay anything. You can cancel it at any time. You can get the free book and say, you know what, I just want the free Pimsleur and be done with it. So make sure if you're interested in that, don't buy it through iTunes. Go to audiblepodcast.com uh, slash japancast and pick up a free audiobook. All right, up next we have a video question in the mailbag. Oh. Oh. Okay, uh, Josh sent us a series of questions um, by YouTube video. So we're going to try to answer each one of his questions piece by piece. So here is the first one. Hello, Paul Hanitomi 
this is uh, Josh here and um, I'm from uh, Ohio originally and uh, now living near Los Angeles uh, with my wife and uh, we are uh, just you know fans of your show I really appreciate how you bring in all those different dynamics of both American and Japanese cultures and you try to relate them and contrast and all that that's very uh, helpful to me also as my wife's from Japan and near uh, Shizuoka Ken maybe you guys could help me because I have a few questions uh, some topics here on marriage on language on Japanese jokes and finally religion in Japan all right let me start off with marriage now is there a type of uh, ritual or a tradition in Japan where they pay a bride price for the uh, daughter of the family so the first question was about a uh, bride price and we yeah I think he's talking about yui no king mm -hmm. yui no king yui no king mm. okay. but and, okay. I know uh, because you weren't <laughs> <laughs> married to a Japanese, no traditional yes. Japanese so wedding. Don't I have, have a lot no of experience. No idea. None. Your microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, we did a little bit of research, and we had to. And, uh, <laughs> it used to be traditional for arranged marriages to happen between families because families were more important than individuals. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit like back in feudal Europe, I think, where you know, royal family would marry off one uh, kid to yeah. another royal family's kid mm, to strengthen the their kingdom yeah. it's kind of similar idea you're trying to strengthen your family mm. so they used to do that um the parents uh get together and do a ceremony called yui no, mm. yui no. which uh, it, from what we read came from china to japan mm. then the groom would bring yui mono to his mm. fiance's house the gifts which is his gifts mm -hmm. um, to connect the families, and it would bring he'd bring um, surume, dry squid, <laughs> dry squid, uh, hakusen, mm -hmm. which is a uh, fan, yeah, yeah. different items. There's, I guess you, you were saying there's specific items, so it's not just yeah, random. He can't specific. go around his house and like right. I never <laughs> like this anyway. I go <laughs> give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but I think anymore it's it's also very common to just give money. Money, that's Yui no King that uh, Josh san was talking about. That's Yui no King. It's a okay. very common thing. So, that happens in traditional. Hmm. Um, they used to, they used to, the, uh, the groom used to give like obi, you know, mm -hmm. that obi and kimono. Okay. But we don't really wear them anymore, so... Nowadays, money is more popular. Right. And then I th the other part of this I thought was interesting and not necessarily related to the question was at the traditional um, marriage ceremony, they do san san kudo. Mm, san san kudo. I have heard about it. <laughs> which um, there's three cups, a three tiered cup, mm. and they this, now this is, make sure I get this right. They pretend to pour sake into it, and then they pour sake into it three times. Mm. The groom takes a sip from each of the three cups, then the bride, then the cups are passed to the groom's parents, then to the bride's parents, and then if there was an omiyai, omiyai? Omiyai? Matchmaker. Matchmaker. Uh, Nakodo-san. We say matchmaker is mm. Nakodo. Nakodo mm. would drink last and the reason for the three tiered cups is three is a happy number mm -hmm. and three times, times three, three is nine, nine is the happiest number of all <laughs> so that's why you do three yeah. times three mm. and so after that then they're they, they're married and go on to wedding reception of mm. whatever kind so mm. 